Next up, we'll be moving from pure Polkadot-enabled multi-chain DeFi into multi-chain supply chains with Ziga from Trace Labs, who works on Origin Trail. Origin Trail is dedicated to making supply chains work sustainably by enabling trusted knowledge exchange. Levering Polkadot to ensure blockchain interoperability, Origin Trail is used by leading global organizations in trillion dollar industries. Ziga, the Polkadot dec decoded stage is yours. Take it away. Thank you so much, Peter. Uh, and uh, good evening to all Polkadot uh, community members. And also good evening to our tracers, uh, Origin Trail community members. Uh, it is my pleasure to be here on the main stage of the Polkadot community. My name is Ziga Drill. I'm one of the co-founders of the Origin Trail ecosystem. And as Peter pointed out, uh, Origin Trail is dedicated towards making supply chains work. And uh, what I'm going to talk about today in this presentation is about our 10 years journey towards achieving greater transparency and trust, trust in various supply chains, starting with local food supply chains. And uh, what we have nowadays is essentially helping companies that total over 1.5 trillion US dollars in purchasing power. So this is kind of a transition. And uh, what I'm also going to be focusing on and also the release that we're having in, at the end of this presentation is touching, uh, touching upon uh, the Polkadot integration and why Polkadot integration is crucial for our, for our multi-chain uh, sustainable path towards making supply chains uh, work. So, why exactly do we need supply chain sustainability and what exactly is, uh, is it all about? Uh, if, we look, if we look at the year 2020, uh, we have been hit by several catastrophes. Now, one of them you might remember, especially those from the, from the land, uh, land down, under, down under is the fires that broke out in Australia, widespread fires. Uh, and also in, so in, in South America, you saw a lot of widespread uh, fires and all of those uh, natural kind of uh, catastrophes somehow originate from unsustainable way of um, setting up the supply chains. Now, moving forward, we are still very much deep into the COVID-19 crisis. And uh, what is striking in the COVID-19 crisis is not only the origins of it, it is also the way we are tackling the crisis itself here in Europe and also across the globe. According to Interpol, there have been many, many products, fake products sold to hospitals, to governments. And in that way, you know, we were uh, less able to fight the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, so those two examples somehow show, show us how uh, poorly equipped we are to, to, to tackle major crisis with today's setting of supply chains. And last but not least, also consumers are part of, parts of the supply chains and the way conglomerates, big organizations, uh, online companies are treating our data is absolutely appalling. We have no control over our own data. And this is something that we also need to take into consideration. So essentially, what we do at Origin Trail uh, is that, that we believe sustainable supply chains uh, are only possible by allowing people and organization to benefit from trusted data and knowledge exchange. Uh, now, I'm going to go a bit more deeper uh, into what I mean by saying knowledge exchange. But first off, let's look into the history of Origin Trail. Uh, Origin Trail started off as a kind of a um, rudimentary project already in 2010, although it, took, it wasn't until 2013 after the college when we, uh, with, together with co-founders, Branimir, Tomas, and myself started the company and started developing uh, kind of centralized systems to tackle supply chain transparency, starting with food supply chains. Uh, and later on, we soon found out that there's this cool technology called blockchain that could, that could be uh, offering more integrity to data exchanges in supply chains. Uh, when we started implementing blockchain, uh, starting with Ethereum, um, mainnet uh, back in 2016, we, quick, we quickly found out that uh, blockchains have certain um, kind of shortcomings comings, if you want to use them in, in supply chains. Uh, first off, they have uh, they lack certain database features you would need in order to be able to track products. And secondly, and perhaps more obviously, um, costs may, may be very much prohibitive towards using uh, chains like Ethereum for supply chain purposes. And uh, this kind of the, the path drew us into kind of China, into different interesting programs such as Walmart. We were selected as one of three most fit solutions to tackle food supply chain issues in China back in 2017. And then in 2017-18, we also launched the Origin Trail open source blockchain agnostic protocol. 
And th throughout our journey, we had been relying mostly on one chain. And this was, you know, kind of a critical shortcoming, which prohibited us to grow more quickly. Uh, because, you know, in supply chains, it, it's all about exchanging data. It's not that much about transactions. And if you want to exchange data, you need to have more capable, more scalable, decentralized systems. And this is when, you know, enters Polkadot uh, back in 2020, September, uh, or actually during the, the, the summer, uh, we just decided to go into the um, kind of, together with Polkadot entities, into a quest to find the most appropriate solution to make um, supply chain data exchange more scalable and underpin the origin trails multi-chain direction. And uh, we were very glad that we were received very, um, you know, with a very, very capable team uh, at the at the parity side, entered the Substrate Builders program. And today we're, we're building an extension of Origin Trail Protocol, uh, which is supporting the multi-chain vision, leveraging Polkadot technology. And at the end of the presentation, I'm also going to be talking about the release that we're having today. Now, supply chains are very complex. And what we see here is kind of a chain. You can see in supply chains, data is very much um, shielded within data silos. And by having data put into data silos, you can, you know, in a very limited way, follow what's going on in supply chains. And supply chains, although we use the word chain, it's are not chains, they're actually ecosystems. And if you want to break free, so if we want to kind of release the, the data out of these chains of data silos, we need to instill the ecosystem thinking. And also having Polkadot kind of mentality and Polkadot uh, tools available, you're actually leveraging the ecosystem mentality rather than just having this linear, linear mentality. And this is very, very important because we need to build at least three value propositions in supply chains if we want to improve the, 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 the sustainability of, uh, of supply chains. And first of them is interoperability. We have many legacy systems within supply chains, but none of those legacy systems uh, talk to each other because many of them are not following certain global standard for semantic interoperability, uh, or so to say, systems are not speaking the same language. And now going step forward, we have plenty blockchain ecosystems currently, but then again, blockchain ecosystems are not talking to each other. And this is where, you know, Polkadot, Polkadot enters as a very, very crucial element. Secondly, interconnectivity. Data needs to, needs to be linked. If we want to follow what's going on in a supply chain, in a complex supply chain, we need to make sure that we can link data together and then follow products or follow services or be able to see what has transpired in supply chains. Last but not least, um, if, if we want to be really sure that no one is meddling in supply chains, we also need to bring in certain um, game theoretical models. And this is where blockchain is highly, highly promising, um, but we need to make a you know, step further. We need to make more chains available to the companies, to the individuals in supply chains, so that they can always um, select the most performant one and that they, they can always select um, the chains that actually are already, you know, at the stage where you already have interoperability with other existing ecosystem. And then again, Polkadot is at this stage ready to support such, such a mission. Um, now, what is Origin Trail? Origin Trail, in essence, is it's not a, um, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a blockchain. It's rather a middleware, uh, decentralized network that supports decentralized knowledge graph. And this decentralized knowledge graph is being underpinned uh, by blockchain to offer all those three layers of, um, of value propositions, interoperability, interconnectivity, and uh, in da data integrity. And uh, furthermore, what Origin Trail also adds to the supply chain chains, and this is also very important, is um, the um, capability to shield sensitive data so that companies still can collaborate, can exchange data, but still they are the ones who are in control of which data they share and uh, with whom, with which companies. Now, what I'm going to go into right now is just into a few examples of where, or, of where Origin Trail is being used currently. Uh, Origin Trail, uh, actually the Trace Labs, which is the core technology developer of, of Origin Trail, 
is the exclusive partner of the British Standards Institution. The British Standards Institution is a 120 year old organization with uh, over 70, off uh, 70 um, offices across the world. And there, there is no supply chain in this world into which BSI, BSI is not stepping into. And so does the origin trail fall, follow their uh, footprint. Uh, we also track um, real hard materials in Switzerland, helping Swiss federal rail, railways ensure safety of, of their passengers. And one of interesting example is also the personal data management application that we developed in order to help companies comply with the GDPR when they're collecting personal, personal data. And there are a plethora of other applications, origin trails being used. Now to kind of give you a bit more meat into how kind of what the end application look like, uh, perhaps one of the most um, kind of clear examples of how you as a consumer can use the application, which would, that would, would then interoperate with origin trail and later on with the Polkadot uh, ecosystem, is by taking the app, scan a product in a store like this chicken, and then input the expired date, and then see where exactly this chicken is originating, originating, originating from. You can also see that all the credentials, all the uh, attestations, um, certifications that were awarded to this producer are actually uh, in place, that no one has meddled with all, all that data. So kind of a very, very simple example. Now, this is kind of a food and beverage um, supply chains. This is a very important, uh, interesting example, which um, has been um, uh, quite active uh, recently within the trace, the trace labs. Uh, and this is kind of the traceability initi initiative that we launched together with uh, the British Standards in Institution, essentially helping an Irish distillery, uh, which just recently also received $50 million from the likes of Bono of, from U2 to kind of instill uh, a radical way of you know um, seeing where the ingredients are coming from and then also to kind of instill radical trust into the into the whiskey products uh, now in addition to kind of a static provenance data uh, consumers can also um, interact and also get information from the fields uh, real time um, it's highly important that we are kind of touching the subject of, of supply chains there is one at least one staggering statistic which shows that in the UK, more than two thirds of managers within the food production companies would say that they cannot vouch for authenticity and provenance of their products. So a very, very important mission. Now, this example of the radical transparency and trust in international trade, um, a so-called scan association, something that we're extremely proud of. Um, one of the reasons is perhaps because uh, it is touching a very, very formidable supply chain. Uh, the partners within the SCAN Association, which is a supplier compliance auditing audit network, uh, include uh, Walmart. It also includes JCPenney. So 40% uh, essentially of imports to the US are representing some 1.5 trillion of purchasing power. And what we do there, we essentially help those companies exchange auditing reports on some 20,000 uh, Asian factories and uh, also factories from all over the world. And then in that way, um, kind, of, uh, kind of achieve a better efficiency when it, com when it comes to auditing uh, companies from abroad. Uh, what we see here on the right side uh, is um, kind of a view into how the application looks like. Uh, the, on the right hand side, you also see the way data is being verified all the parameters that companies are following when they're deciding to admit or not admit certain supplier to the United States. So a very, very vast scale uh, pro project, which already shows you how um, kind of well spread the decentralized technology is within uh, supply chains, global supply chains. Uh, and just today we have launched, um, actually we have released, our partner has released another important uh, project uh, within uh, two thirds that happens within two thirds of countries in development. And that project is um, specifically geared towards the pharmaceuticals. Uh, now, Origin Trail has received international rec recognition from uh, China, Walmart China is supporting Origin Trail, BSI, um, also some other important companies such as Oracle Blockchain, to which we also try to build interoperability bridges. And the World Economic Forum has written quite extensively about Origin Trail. Now, 
what we are very much excited about uh, today is that we already have a very, very good trajectory with Polkadot. Uh, we essentially uh, have had um, Parity Technologies join Trace Alliance's working group on decentralization and to tokenomics. And Trace Labs later on also joined Substrate Builders program. And we are very proud that uh, today we already have a um, test net of a Starfleet chain, which is essentially origin trail substrate uh, substrate chain. And um, this alpha test, net uh, test network will now, uh, with a certain expedited tempo, transi transition towards the Starfleet test net par parachain launch on either Rococo or West End in, uh, in, a, in, a, in a very, very kind of uh, expedited manner. Uh, we are also fast tracking full integration of Starfleet into Polkadot in Q3. Now, this is at least a few months uh, faster than we previously anticipated. And in that way, we're going to make Origin Trail decentralized knowledge graph functionalities fully available for the entire Polkadot community. And fresh out today, uh, you can go to our GitHub and you can read about the RFC published. And uh, we also have a blog, po blog post coming out, coming out right now. Uh, and in there, you're going to learn about our um, trajectory towards bidding for parachain and towards full Polkadot inter integration. Thank you so much for your attention. Uh, I welcome you to join uh, our kind of efforts to make supply chains work because it's a, you know, it's a joint effort. And with the collaborative and ecosystem approach, the approach we see with Polkadot, I'm sure uh, we're going to be successful together. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think we have time for one or two questions here from the audience. Uh, a couple of them you sort of answered towards the end. So uh, obviously like looking at a multi-chain future, Origin Trail is still gonna exist in its Ethereum implementation, but you also now are gonna have a substrate chain. Maybe you can talk a little bit about how that uh, relationship between the two sort of nodes of Origin Trails on, on multiple networks is gonna work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, as I said, Origin Trail uh, is essentially supporting or, uh, decentralized knowledge graph. And uh, looking into a few months uh, earlier, uh, when Origin Trail was merely running on Ethereum network, we saw that the cost of, um, of recording the data into the Origin Trail decentralized network uh, using Ethereum could even amount to $100. $100. And this is completely unsustainable for any, any supply chains, let, let alone food supply chains. Uh, now, using, using, using our own substrate-based technology, not only we are seeing that we can um, you know, put those costs significantly to a you know, minimum share of what we saw previously, but also we can bring in other um, other specific features that are being offered by the substrate and later on by the polka dot integration. So essentially, uh, Origin Trail's decentralized knowledge graph could be offered to any other polka dot related builders uh, for you know the purpose of uh, purposes which are native to, to either supply chains or even DeFi. So it's kind of a uh, mission towards a compounding effects of 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 what we do. Amazing. Looking forward to seeing the chain live on Rococo and then on Polkadot. Uh, keep up the good work and we'll talk again soon. Thank you so much.